We'll guide you through how to fix your ethernet not working in Windows 10. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and leaving a like, and let's get into this. First off, make sure that your ethernet is connected properly. To do that, you can try checking whether the cable is plugged all the way in, in both your PC and router. If it is, I would recommend restarting both your router and PC. This could resolve your issue. To restart your router, you can check whether it has a button on the back or simply unplug it from the power outlet for about 10 seconds and then plug it back in. And now to restart your PC, go to the bottom left of your screen, then press the Windows button, then press the power button, and then select the restart button. Now, after you do that, if you're still facing issues, let's jump into the next method. Here, you will need to make sure that the Ethernet is enabled in the control panel. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button, and in here, write Network Connections. Then, open up the application at the top. Then, locate your Ethernet connection, right-click it, and make sure that it says Disabled. That means that it's already enabled, but if it says Enable, press that button. If you're still experiencing issues after doing that, you can right-click the Ethernet connection, and press the Diagnose button. This will make your Windows operating system run a quick diagnostics on your Ethernet connection to check if there is any problems with it. If it detects any problems, it will explain to you how to solve them. If that didn't help you, you can go over to the next step, but before we go over there, note down the name that you will see under the Ethernet connection. For me, it's Realtek. GB family controller because you will need it. For this method, we will be updating the drivers. There might be something malfunctioning with your current ones. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button and in here write device manager. Then open up the application at the top. And once you open up the application, go over to network adapters and look for the name that you saw in the previous application. For me, it was Realtek GB family controller. Select it, then press right click, then press update driver. Then you can either search automatically for drivers or browse your computer for drivers if you have ones downloaded previously. I would recommend choosing the option at the top. And if you see this pop up, that means that you already have your best drivers installed. But if you see an installation occur, that means that you have gotten new drivers and you should test out your connection. If your Ethernet connection is still not working, go over to the device manager once again. Go over to Network Adapters and locate your adapter, right-click on it and press Uninstall Device. This will basically uninstall the controller or driver that you have for the Ethernet. Do not worry, when you do this, you won't uninstall it forever. You will just need to restart your PC and it will be installed back again. That is it for this video. I hope we helped. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.